So our first question is, how can you maintain your health in college? So this is uh, a constant struggle. I don't know if you are familiar with the freshman 15 or the freshman 500, but uh, those things are both very real. And uh, you need to take the time to not only just consider about uh, how you can maintain health or if you want to get better, uh, but that includes healthy eating, uh, going to the gym and working out, uh, doing activities that don't involve just sitting in your room all day and uh, having a good time. But uh, for me personally, uh, I had uh, uh, the reverse happen. Uh, I didn't have the freshman 15 in a negative way. I actually lost weight when I joined. So, really? Uh, I, yeah, I was Lucky. No. fairly active <laughs> in high school. Uh, and then when I got into college, I ended up meeting a guy that I am an early bird. John knows this for sure. Uh, whenever we go out <laughs> anywhere, whenever I sleep at John's house, uh, <laughs> uh, I am up at 4 a.m. or, or oh. earlier. Uh, so I would get up really early and go to the uh, hall at Champlain College and there was only one kid that was sitting there so nice. I went up and started talking to him so you can go back and listen to our making friends in college and that's in that uh, story <laughs> but uh, we both decided that hey well we're up early enough anyway so why don't we go down to the gym and uh, so that happened uh, which was good for the beginning of freshman year and then I didn't mesh too well with mm -hmm. this kid as the, oh. the time went on. Uh, so it, it fell out. But uh, one of the biggest tips of advice I can give you is that if you decide that you're going to go to the gym and you're going to be working out consistently, find a buddy. Yep. My big thing was if uh, when I became a sophomore, my friend British, who hmm. uh, great story behind his name, he's British. <laughs> <laughs> so, really? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> But uh, him and I decided that we were gonna get into shape sophomore year after freshman was successful, but uh, had a falling out. So him and I went to the gym every single day for the week, and then on the weekends, we kind of like clicked on and off. But whenever I wasn't feeling like going, he would push me. Yeah. And then if I didn't, or he didn't feel like going, I'd push him. So having somebody that's consistently with you to be in that routine and be like, hey, I know it sucks. I know you don't want to go down there. I don't know. Yeah. You know but let's do it. And the other best tip advice I can give you is that even your worst day doing it is better than not doing it at all. So mm -hmm. get there and yep. at least attempt it. That's true. And, uh, I always found it helpful going to the uh, workout classes they had because I was never good at figuring out what to do at the gym. Yep. I would do like the treadmill for half an hour and think I was good. Yep. So me and my friends would all go to like the classes at like five o'clock, like Zumba or spin yep. or yoga. I wasn't good at yoga, but we went. <laughs> No, and <laughs> as long it was as a good like workout. It, all that matters. Yeah, it was like a forty-five minute workout. Yeah. You really got in all the sweats, and yeah, it was great. It's like three times a week. It's perfect. Yeah. And one of the things you want to do is making sure that you find the thing that you like. So, like, yeah. I hate treadmill <laughs> and the elliptical <laughs> and the stationary bike. They don't make sense to me. But like, all the girls would go and do that stuff. So I was like, well, I don't fit in this gym. I'll go to the dance classes and stuff. And then I started powerlifting, and that's what I do. I go to the gym and I powerlift. I'll be there for about an hour, hour and a half now. And I started doing that in college, and it was like finding finding my niche. And it made my day. I was like, I'm going to the gym today. I'm so excited. And I can, like, lift stuff now. And I can, I don't need anyone's help to move a couch. Or, well, I do need someone's help to move a couch because it's big. But, like, <laughs> bench press <laughs> the couch. <laughs> but, like, you know, it, it was really empowering. It made me feel really good about myself and just, you know, Health-wise, you know, uh, going to the gym, working out, sets off endorphins. So if you're having a rough day, you might say, I don't want to go to the gym. But if you do, it will actually help you feel better. And it's a really good way to relieve stress um, and just kind of help your, like, your body stay in motion. Your body wants to move. It wants to do stuff. And, like, stay within your limitations if you're, like, I, or stay within what makes you happy. So, like, if you don't want to lift stuff and move a couch by yourself, mm. <laughs> don't do that. But, like, go to a yoga class. And even if you're, like, not good at it or you don't think you're good at it, like, just do it. Try it out. Yeah, yeah. try it out. Do if, You don't have to be, like, the best dancer in the class to go to a dance mm. class. Just you're having fun. That's all that matters. Well, it's even, uh, you brought up the classes, but intramurals too. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Depending on if you, you know, do flag football or uh, I was a big ultimate frisbee guy. Mm -hmm. So uh, getting down on the field and just throwing frisbee around uh, is a lot of fun. So there's there's a slew of different opportunities for you yeah. to just kind of get out there and find something that clicks. It's so easy coming up with excuses too. Yeah. yeah that's where the advantage of having a friend go with you is because I know... I, I don't know how big Champlain's gym was or URI's small, gym, small. but <laughs> UMass Amherst had a pretty big gym, a couple basketball courts, but 
so many students there, over 20,000, that every machine is almost always taken. Yeah. So there are so many times I go there, go through the effort, get changed, get to the gym, and say to myself, it's too crowded. Yeah. And just turn right back <laughs> home and go have ice cream or something. Yeah, so. and I mean, also work on, like, off hours, too. I would go between classes sometimes, yeah. and I, yeah. I would go to class spanky, but I'm like, whatever, I'm not sitting there anyone anyway. Um, sure. And they have, they have showers at the gym, too. Um, so the, and they're like right there. If it's like you have a weird break between classes, like every once in a while you have like a three hour break between classes, and you're like, well, I don't want to go back to my dorm because then like by the time I get there, I, you know, there's no time for a nap or to watch a full Netflix episode. Like, go to the gym, work out for twenty minutes, half an hour, take a quick shower, or don't go to class. Like, or grab a bite to eat on your way to class, or something like that. Like, do, like it's super easy. Um, also, healthy eating is super important. It can be difficult on a college campus. But there are also so many options in so many of them at one point. <laughs> at one point, I was with my friends, and I had, like, just started my workout kick. And I was like, guys, you know what? I feel like I'm going to have dessert tonight. And I went over, and there were no good desserts out. The, like, cookies weren't out. The brownies looked dry. There was nothing but fruit. And I'm like, I don't want fruit right now. So I turned around, and they had broccoli. <laughs> they had freshly steamed broccoli. Now we're cooking. <laughs> <laughs> so I go and grab a bowl, and I sit down, and they're like, you having broccoli for dessert? And I'm like, hell yes. <laughs> Sitting there eating my broccoli. So do that every once in a while. I mean, or don't. Like, make yourself happy. But, you know, broccoli's delicious, guys. I like broccoli. Did you put anything on the broccoli, or was it Salt just pepper. plain? Oh. <laughs> That That's, was a dessert. Yeah. That was the dessert part. They Sounds didn't have great. No, like, chocolate sauce or anything to at least make it yeah. kind of a dessert. Chocolate. Broccoli or chocolate broccoli. sauce. A little no. caramel on top of that, too. <laughs> Sprinkles. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah, I think uh, my, my biggest issue is actually the healthy eating aspect of things uh, because everything's so much easier to just grab something quick at the calf and uh, mm-hmm. it's like hamburgers and pizza. You know, pizza, yeah. Uh, yeah, pizza's a big one for sure and mm-hmm. definitely in college and still in my life today. So um, that I always struggle with and yeah. it's, I find it really useful to have an app on your phone to track what you're eating. Yeah. Uh, it will also give you a rough estimate of what the calories are. If you want to get really anal about it and get in there and say <laughs> what the measurements are yeah. and what it is, you can get right down to the, the very nitty gritty. Uh, but the best part about that is one, it tracks your food intake so you can see what is really high in calories yeah. and what's not, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. But it also tracks when you're exercising too. So if you plug in whatever yeah. you did for the day, it's going to give you the deficit so you're at a pretty good understanding yeah. of here's where I am, here's where I want to be. If you want to lose weight, gain weight, depending on what you're trying to do. Uh, That is one of the best uh, things to have in your arsenal when you're trying to maintain health. Yeah, I was... Oh, no, go ahead. ahead. I always thought it was difficult eating in the dining hall because you never knew how many calories were in the food because they don't list that out. And I actually would um, have these, like, grab-and-go smoothies my freshman year, and I got, like, three a day because I'm like, oh, they're smoothies, they're healthy, it's fine, I can eat that. Ate it for probably like three months straight, three a day, and I was gaining weight, and I was like, all I'm eating is these smoothies. What is happening? I found out there's actually no fruit in the smoothies. Yep. It just comes from a carton, and there's like, it's all sugar. Yeah. And so like you smoothies. can definitely ask them. Yeah. yeah. You can definitely ask, like, the workers uh, what's in the food. Yeah. They can tell you what it's the typically ingredients are. online, too. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. online. And I think Sodexo, if you have, like, the Fitbit app that has, like, the barcode scanner for food, Sodexo, at least at Champlain, would put out, like, barcode scanner things. And I think on my fitness pal too, Sodexo partners with them so that you can see, like, you can scan it. You can say, oh, this is how many calories, this is how many... Um, how much fat, how many carbohydrates, how many, how much oh, protein cool. is in there, I think, yeah. Um, and they, they would list it out too, but that, that information does have to be available to you, even if it's available online or you have to ask them for it, um, but it can be made available to you. Um, and I just wanted to make sure we're, it's clear that we're not saying, like, this is what you have to do to lose weight. Like, if you want to just, like, maintain your weight, if you want to gain weight, just, like, leading a healthy life is important. We're not saying that anyone has to, like, lose weight or become a perfect fit or anything like that. We're just giving you advice on how to be healthy. Sorry. Simple I had to say that. Yeah. If you want yeah. Yeah. to make a little like change like, in life. Uh, New Year's resolution. Yeah. yeah. So, so that like you feel, depending on what yeah. you want to do. Yeah. So you feel good about, like, the way you're moving and all that. Like, movement, like, makes you happy. Eating vegetables, eating fruits makes your body happy. And, um, like, if every once in a while I have a piece of cake and know, I'm like, not mentally. I mean, like, <laughs> not mentally happy. Physically, I guess. Physically, yeah. I mean, like, I've been eating cake and chocolate and everything for the last week and I'm like, I just, I want a vegetable. Yeah, I and really it makes you more tired. Never said that. 
I don't think. <laughs> I don't think. I, uh, one thing I also want to bring up, too, is you said going on off hours to the gym if you're trying to get in. Uh, also, I worked at Champlain at the gym desk. Mm -hmm. If you are unfamiliar with any of the equipment or you need somebody to talk to you before you go in, there's usually somebody posted there that you can talk to and ask about the equipment. If you feel uncomfortable about any of that, go early in the morning, talk to somebody, or late at night. Uh, usually that's the time for uh, at least Champlain, I don't know about the experiences. There was nobody in the gym. There's like the two gym rats that are just <laughs> loudly grunting and that's about it. But um, I yeah. also walked a lot on campus yeah. because I didn't go to the gym too much. So uh, my campus was on a hill. The dorms were at the bottom and all the classes were at the top. So I would just walk to class yeah, instead of take the class. bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or I'd like, uh, kind of explore campus. I ended up finding like a secret garden on the side oh, of my campus. So it's oh, kind of, yeah. Fun. Secret talking helps. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, you're right. <laughs> um, we should also probably talk about like not being sick health. Yeah. Because yeah. that's obviously a problem even to adulthood <laughs> um you got to take care of yourself if you're sick like if that means missing one class like do it and sleep through it but email your professor like let them know be like i woke up and i'm coughing really loudly my throat's really sore i don't know what's going on i haven't had my flu shot so it could be the flu um, or I did have my flu shot, so it's probably not the flu, probably but the flu. it probably still is the they flu. they inject you with the flu virus. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> no, there are sometimes different There's one strains thing to take away of from flu. <laughs> <laughs> like, last year everyone got the flu shot, and then they, like, everyone still got the flu because it was a different strain that went around, and everyone was still sick, but not as bad. Um, so, like, keep in open contact with your professor. Go to health services and be like, hey, I'm really sick. What's the issue? Is it strep throat? Is it the flu? Is it mono? Which, oh around campus like wildfire especially among freshmen I'm gonna see a lot of kids in the health clinic oh, yeah. when you go in yeah yep um so like that's really important wash your hands and that'll help you get rid of bacteria so that you don't get sick and keep your dorm eyes. room clean <laughs> keep What's your dorm room clean. wipes yeah. yeah you talked about like skipping a class if you're feeling sick uh if there's a big party and you're not feeling so well Probably hang out because if you go down there and yep. you partake in substances, uh, that might not help you. Or even staying up till help. two in the morning. Yeah, sure. get yep. your rest. Yep. Yeah. Sleep. But talking about mono, I that's why I left Pitt after my first semester. I got mono uh, right during midterms, so I didn't necessarily miss a class. I missed. Everything. The tests, yeah. so I, I had to leave. It was a wasted semester, um, and I actually lost thirty two pounds in two weeks. Yeah. So thirty two pounds in two weeks. There's your diet. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It, there's just no way to eat, but yeah. you got to take care of yourself. You know, that, yeah. it was yeah. one of those things where I I personally don't like needles that much. Yeah. Uh, but of course, the only they have to take so much blood. They have to take blood. I had them do it out of the top of my hand. I felt oh. better that way. Really? I didn't know you could do Everyone that. says that's weird. I didn't know either. I oh. just thought I'd ask. Did it hurt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is you gotta go get checked my yeah. parents came and visited me i was so sick we were you know not able to even leave the room because yep. i just was always sleeping yep. but you gotta go to the doctors gotta get it checked they took the blood it hurt yep. um and at that point i withdrew from pit got my health back together mm -hmm. and then went to community college which isn't the worst transition there you know just take care of yourself yeah yeah, definitely. Especially with something like, I got mono the second week of my second semester freshman year. Mm -hmm. and they're like, yep, everyone gets it. I read like an article that said by the time people are 24, almost every adult has had mono, just in ranging mm -hmm. manners. So like, I had mono and strep, and I was like, I missed class for like a week or two. Some people don't even notice that they get it. Some people mm -hmm. get it like John and lose a bunch of weight in two weeks and are just... Yeah. can't do anything and the other I, thing too i sorry yeah. to interrupt but I, I think half the problem is they it's obviously known as the kissing disease yeah but that's only a chunk of it yeah water fountains doors kissing, the gym the gym make the sure you wipe down your equipment before and after you use it because that's Absolutely. it goes through um bodily flu fluids and people in the gym are sweating so if you use a piece of equipment that someone hasn't wiped down then you could get mono Stop from that making with that treadmill <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's there. It it's so common, and especially where like you're in a new environment, and not just like huge diseases like mono, but even like the first two weeks, everyone gets sick. Not just freshmen, not just sophomores. 
everyone gets sick because you're in this area with a whole bunch of people who have gone through airports and bus terminals and train stations and everywhere with all sorts of like a petri dish of diseases going through it and everyone gets sick especially because when you move there like there's different stuff in the air so like make sure you drink your uh, orange juice like um, the airborne vitamin c stuff is really good too Mm -hmm. like just being preventative and trying to make sure you know drink tea tea is always good um and just you know a lot of it's just trying to maintain trying to prevent getting it um, and stuff like that. So, like, wiping everything down with Clorox wipes. I'm not saying be a germaphobe, but little Just be bit clean. doesn't help. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. hurt. And some of it's unavoidable. Yeah. You're going yeah. you're gonna to get sick. You I can tell you that. Over the course of four years, you'll at least get sick four times, once yeah. per year. <laughs> and that's where you have to go to health services. You might be looking at an hour or two wait, but it's better to get that hour or two wait yeah. out of the way quick. It, well, I guess not quick, but get it out of the way. <laughs> and then from there, just start getting healthy, you know? Yeah rest eat skip class if you have to send an email to the professor half the time the professor will just write back sure no problem half yeah. the time they won't believe you and want a doctor's note yeah my yeah. sister so, mm-hmm. had that happen to her um just get the doctor's note yeah go to the doctor that's why it's especially helpful to go to health services and yeah. especially if you're like i had to miss class a couple times because i was in health services and there was a long wait and i was like i'm gonna be late or i might not make it i'm in health services right now and the professor is very understanding if you especially if you ask them for like, what are we going to cover in class? And they'll explain that in the syllabus, but you mm-hmm. can be like, I see we're studying X. Can you send me the PowerPoint or can you send me notes from your lecture or something like that? Mm-hmm. And having friends in the class being like, hey, I'm missing class for because I'm sick. Can you send me notes? Can you share them with me on Google Drive or whatever? Um, just there are, there are so many ways, especially with technology, that you can miss class and not miss out on the information that you're getting, which is yeah. super important in college. And if the professor is not very nice about that, I always Mm -hmm. find that going to their office hours when you feel better, um, they appreciate that a lot. (laughs) (laughs) If it's not too late, try switching. Dropping out of college. (laughs) Yeah, if it's the second week, just be like, no, I'm done with you. We're going on to a new one. That's a good point, though, yeah. Definitely if you have any issues, not even if you're sick, but if you're having issues in the class and you're not, you're struggling and having whatever reason, go and see them and they'll take into account that that yeah extra yeah effort. they take notice yeah yeah but wait till you're not sick yeah there's, don't go when you're sick there's one thing that professors hate more than anything that's getting sick if they're being rude that's to you I mean. though yeah. go when you're yeah. sick and just like come in with a handkerchief <coughs> <laughs> i'm so sorry i couldn't make it to class mm-hmm. i really couldn't get out of bed <coughs> Can I take a nap right here? That's where the theater class move. comes in handy. Exactly. Yeah. Take at least one acting class mm-hmm. to make that work. That's right. 